Hi friends, welcome to Learn with Krishna Sandeep channel. So in this video, we'll see one important program to print even num uh, to print odd numbers in a given range. Okay, print odd numbers in a given range. For example, if we give start range as one and end range as hundred, it should print all the odd numbers. Okay in between 1 to 100 okay in between 1 to 100 what it should do it should print all the odd numbers i'm just taking it as 101 why because uh, i'll just explain you why i'm taking 101 so inclusive 101 if we if it has to print all the odd numbers in a given range so we'll write a program for that so first what we need to do i'm just uh, marking the comment with hash instead of uh, forward two slashes so let's take the number from the input or come in keyboard so i'm just saying start int input of enter the start range and i'm just copying this And I'm just naming it as end range. I'm just changing it to end range. Here start is given, here end is given. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, so what is the logic to check whether a given number is odd number or not? If a number is not divisible by 2, then we call it as an odd number. If a number is not divisible by 2 or when a number is divided by 2, if the remainder is not 0, we call it as an odd number okay so i'm just taking one for loop to iterate through the list of elements in between start range and end range for num in range okay start comma end plus one so why i'm taking end plus one is because if we have to consider this last number as well we need to add plus one because by default the index starts with the I mean, if you are not giving anything, it default starts with a zero. Otherwise, whatever the number we gave, it will start with that. And end plus one we have to give because if we have to include the last number as well. I'll explain you if you remove end plus one, what happens. Okay. And uh, if num percentile two not equal to zero print num okay print num if num percentile to not equal to zero print num now uh, here we need to give colon because each and every condition in the loop should end with colon okay here also we need to give now let's run the program and see the output enter the start range as I told you, 1, enter the end range, 101. If you see here, we need to print all the odd numbers between 1 and 101. If you see, 1, 3, 5, 7. So, till 101, uh, we are printing all the odd numbers. For example, if I am removing this end plus 1, what happens is, it will not consider this 101 and it will print only till 99. Let's run the program and see the output. Enter start range as 1 and enter end range as 101 if you see here last number 101 is removed and only 99 is printed hope you understand this so thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you